In this video, we're going to create a SSH client script in Python. Now, before we do that, we want to go ahead and enable our SSH server. And if you're running Kali Linux or most Linux distributions, you'll have an SSH server pre-installed. You simply need to start it up. And we're also going to need to install the Paramico, Paramico Python library. So let's go ahead and get that installed. All right, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our code editor and create a new file. We'll call it SSH clients. All right, so the first thing we want to do is import Paramico. We need to define our host name. the port of the SSH server, which will be 22, the username, and the password. All right, now let's go ahead and create a try accept block just to catch any generic errors. All right, the first thing we want to do is create a client object from the Paramico library. So we'll create a client variable. And create our client object. Next, we want to load the system host keys from our system. And next we want to set a policy for any missing keys when we're connecting to a remote server. And we'll set that to the auto add policy. This way, if we connect to a server and we're missing the host keys, it'll automatically add them. All right, now with that out of the way, now we can actually connect to the remote SSH server. So we'll do that using the connect method. Pass in the host name, the port, the username, and the password. All right, in this instance, we're going to create an interactive shell. So we'll connect to the server, we'll hold that connection, and we'll create a prompt so we can type in commands and then get the output from the SSH server. So let's create an infinite loop. And inside there, let's create another try accept block. And when the user presses control C, let's go ahead and exit the loop. All right, now let's get some input from the user. We'll do that using the input function and we'll create a prompt. Now we want an exit function. So if we type the exit command, We'll go ahead and exit our while loop. All right, now we need to exit a command on the remote SSH server. So we're gonna need some variables. And then we'll use client and the exact command function. When we execute this function by passing in our command, it will then place the standard input, output, and error from the remote server into the appropriate variables. Now at this point, all we need to do is simply display that to the screen. So we'll take the standard output, use the read function to read the results, and then decode that byte array into a string so we can display it to the screen. Now finally, the last thing we need to do is simply close our connection when we are complete. Let's check. 
change that variable. All right, so let's let's go over this again. So we'll create our Paramico client object, store that into the client variable. We'll load our local system host keys. Then we'll set the missing host key policy to automatically add any host names and host keys to our system. From there, we'll connect to the remote server with our host name, port, username, and password. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enter into a infinite loop. And in that loop, we're going to ask for input. If the user types the exit command, we'll go ahead and exit the while loop, which will then um, execute the following line of code and exit from the remote server. Otherwise, we're going to execute that command on the remote server, which will then place the uh, output into the standard input, output, and error. And then we'll display that to the screen. Now, if you wanted to make a more robust uh, client, you would probably also want to display the error um, so you can see any sort of error messages that any programs display. All right, now let's go ahead and test out this code. So we're gonna type Python 3 SSH client. And here we are with a prompt. And as you can see, we're able to execute multiple commands on the server. Now, if we type exit, again, you can see it exits from the server. Let's connect back. And in this instance, I'm going to press control C. And again, you see that we were able to exit from the server. So in this instance, we created a very simple SSH client in Python. Now, there may be instances where you don't want to create an interactive shell. You just want to connect to a remote SSH server and maybe read like a configuration file from some sort of application or maybe a device, read that output and then return something back to you. In which case, you can simply use this client exec command and you don't have to do it inside this while loop or this um, using this input statement. You can just execute your commands, get the output, process them, and then either display them to the screen or maybe write them to a log file of some sort. So that's gonna conclude this basic SSH client in Python.